In this video, we will see how content can be added to a Microsoft Sway. Also, stay until the end of the video for important information on the restrictions when adding content to a Sway. To add content to a Microsoft Sway, you first need to add content cards. When you create a new Sway, you will see a content card is automatically added, and this is for adding a title to your Sway. Click inside the card and then add a title you want displayed. After adding a heading to your Sway, click on the title card again and you will notice a green plus sign on the content card. Clicking on the plus sign will show suggested content that you can place into this card. Alternatively, you could select a specific type of content you wish to add, such as adding text, images, audio or videos. One option to add media could be from different sources, which includes from your device or OneDrive. However, you will notice if you select images or videos, Sway will automatically provide suggested searches based on the content you have added to the Sway so far. It will suggest Creative Commons only media on Bing, YouTube and Wikipedia as default. This means the images are safe for you to use in your Sway. This is particularly useful in education if students are creating their own Sway projects. Alternatively, you could use the search box for a key term and click on the media, including multiple images you wish to use, and then select Add for these to be placed into your Sway. If multiple images have been added, you can organise them by clicking on the Group. This will display the grouping types such as adding the media as a stack, grid or as a slideshow. Once you have selected the type, you can choose how large you want the media to appear with these options. If needed, you can add a caption for each image, which will appear next to the image when someone views the Sway. To see how these images will appear to the viewer, click on the play icon and scroll down the Sway until you reach the content you have added. This table shows you the content limits. These limits are important to note as it will dictate how a Sway project can be created. Whereas this table shows the file limits when inserting files from your device or OneDrive. For more information about Microsoft Sway, see the links in the description below or choose one of these options to enhance your teaching and learning further and subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.